Greetings, guys at home, and welcome on another exciting episode of the Petros Show. Because we're talking about Petros Kosa. You must see who in Bau na Kuzela. I always bring people who create the material that does the pods to be the pods and the pods. And I'm not going to comment, talk, mabila, ita Kuzela, who imani, who umakwini, who then ask me, I'm full, and I'm still running around, so who? In that time, I'm really queen. Who tibana ba no fan na yena? Who mena ko oka entari ni uto muzawe na na muzawe ko tibana ko kashimo. Let's talk about the show. Talk welcome. Thank you for having me today. Yeah? Yes. Uh, it's nice to see you guys. Yeah. Uh, this setup here, yeah, see yeah. young guys like you. It's an honor. Yeah, uh, yeah, this yeah. for me is a you doing it by yourself, you know, yeah. you're in the media by yourself, in the wood, <laughs> and the young guys, and yeah. uh, you're hustling, and you just motivated me to come here today, and I really feel honored. Thank More you. than any media in the world, this yeah. is the best media because it's the guys in the wood yeah. making for themselves, yeah? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much, and I know you're a busy guy. We've been postponing and postponing to get hold of you, you know, for you to be here. Nah, look, I don't believe someone is busy in life. You, you value people. If something, yeah. if something you relate, you know, yeah. you, you make time for, for it. Sure. Uh, yeah, definitely was not even business, it was just, um, I was getting stuck sometimes, I had some other engagements, sure. uh, emergencies, but yeah. you guys are important, that's what I'm here today, and yeah. I'm on my way to Pumalanga, and I have to yeah. stop here and, yeah, sure. and just see yeah, what is there. If someone is watching and is wondering, who is Doc Madina, why he got in there, can you tell them why? Yeah, look, um, some of those who know me, um, I'm an ex-medic, uh, I studied medicine in UCT, uh, also, I did a bit of a, bit of a run of football at Vert, and uh, also in Cape Town. Uh, but I sacrificed my football and my medicine sure. for what I'm doing today, which is youth zones. Uh, but other than that, I'm a farm boy <laughs> all the way from Zanim. Yeah. And I moved uh, from home when I was 15 to Cape Town. From Cape Town, I moved to Joburg since I was 15. So it's been a while in the city since so I've been yeah. from a farm boy to a metropolitan guy. Wow, yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's a huge transaction, you know, transition, yeah. you know, a transition. Yeah, it's a good yeah. jump, but it's still all, it's always good, I always go home, always reminded, always get my hands dirty. Yeah. Home is home, you know, home so it, ne it never changed. Yeah. yeah. So tell me about you, so you are a corporate manager at Youth Yeah. What is Youth Zone? Yeah, Youth Zone is a, a program we started in 2008, just two years before the World Cup, in partnership with the Department of Sports and FIFA at that time, sure. and now the group, we had nine sites and today we are on 48 sites, wow. including sites in Africa, in Mozambique, Zimbabwe, we do a lot of anti-poaching work, we work in Manica, Montare, and you mentioned it, and we got, in South Africa we're everywhere, but our target is the most disadvantaged communities where, if we go to Soweto, our sites, we work in Freedom Park, Brown Fisher, if you go to Mlazi, we go to OH, you know, so we target the people who are outcasts, who are forgotten. Yeah. So Houston is all about uplifting the youth, uh, availing, availing the opportunities for them in the most uh, environment where things are not easy. So, uh, and then we, so basically, if you, the likes of you now, if, yes. if we use them through our friendship and our, our relational approach, we can empower, it's all about empowerment, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not coming to address the needs. Yes. So users are about empowering and you incentivize uh, people on what they're doing. Right. So, so most organizations, if you look at them, they come based on needs. Yeah. So we are asset based. We say, okay, Petrus is good in media sure. and he's our friend. Sure. So how do we empower him? Sure. So we grow together. So we don't do it and run. Yeah. So it's more relational. It's like a girlfriend and boyfriend. Yeah. You work together, you learn to understand each other, know each other. And once you know each other and you start to understand each other, you respect each other, sure. and you know what the other one needs. And that's use on. So use on, that's what our slogan says, Kutata Skat. It takes time. So most projects, it's nice you build a building and you leave. Sometimes that building gets destroyed in one year. But we, we take ownership to you. We empower you, we don't disempower you. So no matter when I do things for you, I actually indirectly disempower you. So we celebrate you, we give you power. We, you guide us, you're my boss. So now you're gonna tell me, dog, okay, I'm in media. Mm -hmm. This is what I wanna do, I'm doing this. We follow you through this friendship. So we empower you, we don't disempower. So, and that's the reason why probably maybe you so it's big, and, uh, but it's not famous. We yeah. don't do marketing, it's not about, we're not a brand. You are the brand. So you got a Marvin C. and David team, they're engineers, you got Cyril, the only internet cafe. 
with recruitment hub. It's theirs, but it's not using brand there, it's them. Yeah. So we just stay behind, we support. Wow, that's powerful. Lalela Mdansikai, angazo na mklanje utabangani wena, but lalela kukono mwenye otate imbilo yake, washia gonga wenzile to empower others. Giazo mtu wena, you have so much resources then, you know that you can empower others, but we angaba asaka logo today. Take a stand, empower the next better, you know, person. Not because of they are better, but because of you want them to be better. So empower them today and help them to reach their full potential. Uh, Doc, um, you're wearing a t-shirt, it's green vest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, the partnership, the friendship, what uh, the relationship between British Bank and you two? This, yeah, so this is a bit this is one of our old team, our, our partners. You know, um, I was part of the team for a long time now. Um, I also had a good run there, playing my soccer there before it became Bidvers Vets. Uh, so I was also, I was the child of choice and I was the, the face there whenever we go to rural areas. Yeah. So you know Vets sold now. Yes. But um, but I stayed with Bidvest. So uh, companies uh, like Bidvest Proteco and you know, Bidvest Vericon and others. So also because my my friend my relationship with them again is as our my relationship with the people on the, on the other side of life sure. in the squatter camps and the townships is the same thing I'm doing with the other other people. So I don't do it and I don't want the money to come to me and they, they just go or come to us. So our relationship we have, uh, for example, in in, in David, um, the it was very cool. It's got a lot of warehouses where it, as their clients. So they want to employ people. So they they need a labor hub. So instead of you go to Alexander Kelvin, where the, the, the main office is, so you can submit your CV yeah. through our youth leaders when they need certain checkers in one of the warehouses or shop right wherever. So, so the relationship is mutual. We both benefit the community and the, and the corporate. So, yeah, Bitvest have been uh, with them for for a long time. The team, the other Bitvest companies. But for me, as you said, I like what you said earlier. Um, my passion is I sacrifice again. I sacrifice my football. Uh, it's nice to be a footballer, man. You sure. go out there, imagine that. So, and there's a lot of footballers I see with my friends. I mean, Bongan, Gundurula, or that's my buddy friends. Take much of my table September. My, my friends, I was still in that space. But they, and they, themselves also, they do almost the same thing I'm doing. They were giving out there, we sacrifice for others. And for me, it's just someone needs to do something. And uh, I think. I see for my life, my, my medicine and my well, soccer for that. Maybe let, let me just get you. Yeah. What are your daily inspirations? What inspired you to say, you know what? After spending so much years at school, after yeah. training so hard, yeah. like I'm just living this year and pursue what I'm doing now. What inspired you? Look, I grew up very tough. Um, I grew up in a very poor environment. So, in front of my plaza, I grew up no shoes. Uh, to metric, I didn't have anything. Um, but I, I achieved my highest marks. I went to university and I got accepted medicine. And the success was high. I said, flying after metric, no shoes, shorts, into an aeroplane. Um, to UCT, you see a projector screen. Wow. You, you live the life, right? Sure. And you go to football also again. But I was getting so much distracted. And I had a lot, lot of friends, a lot of kids who were looking after me in many ways, especially on the farms. And Lipopo was one of the underrated provinces. Like, if you're from Lipopo, the only thing they know is like, ah, Lalika Alika, you know, the Daulu or something. Sure. But, yeah. so, there was a lot of uh, stigma around that, but there was a lot of, I felt like, I'm just getting driven away from the reality of the people. Yeah. Similar like me. Sure. And I always had a passion. I remember when I was playing football at the at, at Vets, at the UCT, I always had my problems myself. I reached out to people because I wanted people to say, listen, hey, it's possible, you can do it. Sure. So the reason I do what I'm doing uh, is because I realized, hey, I'm behind my own castle. I've become big. So I want to make other people castles. Sure. So I don't want to be celebrated. I don't like to be celebrated. Sure. So I like other people, your Marvins, your Cyril, your class. I want those people to be celebrated. Your Palisas now, she's a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's what's my passion. I don't want to be celebrated. That's why when he said I must come here, I said, no, it's not about me. Sure. It's about even the guys surrounding me, your same here, it's part of you. Mm -hmm. He's one of my, the kid who is a, used to make up to be part of the crew today sure. on your TV. Yeah? Sure, sure. Wow. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm blown away. This is a full punch. Let me tell you, you know, in the Bible, there's a story I love so much. You know, it says from Pete to Palace. We know the story of Joseph. He wasn't born a doctor. You know, he wasn't born what he is today. He was born a child, you know, a blessing to his 
parents, but washing jagonge lo my kids have on in school with lack of resources, lack of you know what you and I have today. But little la and I don't shy out from walking, you know, perfect, a short, you know, and to taking a flight. It's possible. Black child, yellow child, pink child, I wanna tell you these dreams are valid. It is possible. Now you can feel in a shift. Doc, what is your daily weather? <laughs> yeah, man. I won't say it in public, but it got me to be singing in my life, my yeah. daily work. So, yeah, so uh, look, oof. I don't know. Um, so, the last thing about my work is I worked so hard to create my own freedom, right? Which is very important. Uh, the second thing is I'm, I'm in a space where what I do, my work, has become my life. So, I'm no longer working, I'm living. And that's a space where one wanna be, right? Yeah. Only getting salary. Sure. So I'm in that space. So I'm basically living my life every day, but I'm getting salary. But while I'm making a, a lot of impact around uh, Africa, where I'm, I'm working. So my daily work differs, man. <laughs> to meetings, yeah. to fundraising, yeah. to marketing. Sure. Uh, but my passion, man, um, to be honest, is to be there for the young kids. I mean. Everyone, I, I, I get this question. So my biggest job I can say is, I got this question every time. And I thought, hey, that was one dollar. Why, why do you have a chart? Yeah. You know? yeah. And I can tell you what, I, I go all over South Africa in the poorest places you can think of. Sure. And a lot of kids call me daddy. Sure. Even all the other guys, they call me dad. Sure. And papa, papa, I mean, this gym here, yeah. just, even, I, I'm sure I haven't had him now. He called me daddy, but like, hey, Umdala for me. But you know what? I used to refuse it. I feel like ah, they make me old now. Like I man, uba 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 uba. But you know, I realize there's so much issue of parenting. There's so much systematic thing which need to be dismantled in a way, destroyed parenthood, fatherhood. And I got so many kids look up to me. So my biggest job is what I like, man, is, is to get the play soccer of the kids, netball, whatever it is. But they look, they're looking for someone they can inspire to. Someone they wanna be like. Okay, this guy is coming there, he's living in life, he's, I can bring there with my car, my bag, whatever it is, from between uh, uh, Protocol and Bucky. And I get out there, I'm still normal, I'm, I play with them barefoot, they, if they play barefoot, they can relate. Sure. And when it comes to serious stuff, I'm there. So my daily job, man, is to just be a, a good example, be a role model every day. Yeah. If it means if people are planting, I plant with them. Sure. When they're eating raw, eating raw, Indian first, whatever they do, that's my biggest job. Uh, but my daily job is different, man. Uh, it, it, it starts from 5 o'clock to 12 at night. That's the four hours sometimes. Yeah. The only time I get off, man, when I get a few chance to go fishing. I love fishing, <laughs> so I love my fish. So. But other than that, and I can. Yeah, no. I, I can tell this man it's fish, you know? <laughs> By how fast he speaks and how intellectual he is, you know? Yeah, fish is good for, for, for the brain, you know? And like, like, that's a kind of. It's in it, baby, is it? Good dog. Good dog is a kind of a man in your life. Want to, for, for you to be inspired, you know, to learn from him. And today, it when a chatty paper the bed, but also share with you. You know, social media. Maybe you have a question. Maybe you need mentorship. Maybe you need help with what he can help. But we are not so can't You don't get all the kind of help you're looking for in one person. Because not everyone can help you with everything, but everyone can help you with something. So, doc, uh, to people whom you are you are helping now, people like us, you know, whom you are you are helping. What is your best wish for them? Look, I want to remove the word help. Sure. I'm not helping you. Sure. You help yourself. So I'm just there to empower. Sure. I'm there to support the effort. Yeah. So, because, and that's the word I, so there's two words I don't like. Sure. Help and charity. Okay. Because it takes someone's dignity, someone's uh, effort to develop themselves and empower themselves. So, look, Impil was in there. Sure. You create your own luck. So uh, let's look at it that way. You create your own luck here today to have this set up here. So and I will, um, I will follow that. It doesn't have to be me. It can be someone else. You never know who's watching. Some people became top business people in the world because they were doing a flop. And one businessman came in. They created their own luck. So I will remove the word. I'm here to help people. I'm not, I never help people. People always help themselves. But I incentivize. I put a reward where it's needed to. And I, I link your network. It's a network, your network is a network, and I link to the people, the right people. So, in life, no one, no one will help you. Sure. You help yourself. And if someone says they want to help you, you must run away. <laughs> because you'll stay poor for the rest of your life. Sure. Yeah. I get you. So, but uh, I think 
people must, wherever you are, whatever you have, use that to become better self -help. Wherever you have, like now, we're going to Amal Mawati Pola. These mamas are using the old torn uniform for the project called Matakalaba Woods. So they cut old uniform torn. They make bags, they make cushions. So that's figurative for life, of life. So you use rubbish and turn rubbish into beauty. Matakala Ama was beautiful rubbish. And so it's bad. You can have dirty clothes or torn clothes of your life or torn art, but it can turn into beauty, right? So yeah, that's how you should look at it. Yeah. But if that mindset of charity and help, you never have that kind of mindset. Right? So for me, look, anyone, it can be me, it can be someone else. I'm not the icon and I should never be celebrated. What I'm doing today should not be something which I celebrate. It should be something where everyone should live. It should be a norm. Everyone. We should go back to our townships, back to the farms, let's empower each other, let's empower our own so we can help each other. Instead of how you do it in a PDA show, you know, yeah. it's just a jar, you know. So yeah. Let's wish each other best. If you're a soccer player, go back, start to turn the kids off season. You, you know, do that. If you're a doctor, go to care. Okay, just start like that. Let's empower each other. Let's do the self love, you not know, self hate, right? Yeah. Maybe to someone who says, I'm inspired, I want to follow a job, and maybe, you know, I just want to be inspired. Yeah, so on social media, um, uh, my, my, my hashtag is Doc Mabila. Yeah, DOC Mabila, so, which is great. Um, but, uh, and then somebody can inbox me. Sure. I might not, some, some of my, there are people who are helping me with my, uh, my, my social media, and they can go to use those. Sure. Um, that's our social media also. Okay. Doc Mabila, you can find me there also on Twitter or on Instagram. Sure. So, so, but. Again, you create your own luck. For sure. Yeah. I don't want to get people can bombard me with requests, but it's disempowering them. Sure. Share stories. Sure. They literally have, you know. If you have a small place and it's dirty, make an effort. Someone is watching you, you're making an effort. And they'll give you a bigger place. Sure. Right. Sure. So that's my my my, my, my mindset around the everything. Okay, too. Yeah. And maybe to that one child there who says, I don't know what to do with my life now. Like who feels like they are just, they are at a dead end, you know, that young person, you know, who's going to give that life to drugs, you know, who just want to give up, you know, who just want to die, what do you say to them? Yeah, look, I'd, <laughs> first, uh, first of all, I don't like to give people advice because I'm not in their shoes. Sure. So it's difficult to, because, I mean, I'm living now, I'm going to go back to, I'm going to Paul, I'm going to go to Jobek, mm. uh, to my own house, but I think, um, it's not easy, and I know it's not easy in life, but, um, it's that one is you need to love themselves, firstly, and one never to be selfish. I think escaping into different type of things, like drugs and stuff. I'm not in their shoes to, to advise, but I think escaping, that once you escape, that race never ends. Sure. You keep on escaping, you can go to alcohol, to sleeping, whatever, you can go, it never stops. But if you face it, you challenge it, you, you become better, you become stronger, resilient. And so don't give up in life. I never give up. I Look, I had lost my medical stuff, I lost my football, I was in the street for six months, but I never gave up, and uh, I'm here today. I mean, uh, the other day I was next to Puma, they sent me a deal, and um, next to the river, they, I was sleeping there, and I started crying, and they didn't see I was crying. I was in a boardroom, and there's this river right there, and I could see it facing out, I slept there before. Lalela Gemina, Kisigile, Epeteni, Futukunian, who did get a good young woman who did it. Unga call for its dog, Madila, across all social media spaces. Ganti Futi, its youth zones across all social media spaces. We can't want to talk to you now and but apart from that, you follow your law, whatever that God has placed for you, it is for you and it is within you. Someone can come and empower what you have. If you have nothing, even if we empower you, there's nothing that will be done. Go empower yourself, go love yourself as you do with Dela Ishiyo Namshan Yuti. Self-love is the best cure. We love you. May God bless you. Shalom.